You've probably heard the hype about AGI arriving soon, but you're wondering if these tech giants are just selling dreams or if we're actually on the verge of something massive. Well, I've been tracking every announcement, every model release, and every bold prediction from Elon Musk's XAI, Sam Altman's OpenAI, and Google DeepMind for months now. And here's the thing that caught me off guard. They're all pointing to the same year, 2026. Welcome back to bitbias.ai where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, we're breaking down the concrete evidence behind these predictions. We'll look at what each company is actually building right now, the breakthrough models they've already released, and why their timelines are converging on 2026 as the watershed moment for artificial general intelligence. By the end, you'll understand whether this is realistic optimism or just another overhyped promise. Let's start with the company making the boldest moves. Elon Musk's XAI. Elon Musk's all in bet on 2026. Right now, Elon Musk is building something unprecedented in the AI world. Picture this. A supercluster called Colossus housing hundreds of thousands of GPUs, with plans to scale to 1 million GPUs. That's not a typo. 1 million. To put that in perspective, that's more computing power than most countries have access to, all focused on one goal, reaching AGI by 2026. But here's where it gets interesting. Musk isn't just throwing hardware at the problem. At a December 2025 all-hands meeting, he told his staff something revealing. He said if XAI survives the next few years, it will come out on top. That if is important, because it tells us he knows this is a high-stakes gamble. The company is spending 20 to $30 billion per year just on compute. They've even branded their new data center with MacroHard, a not-so-subtle jab at their competition. Now, the compute power is impressive, but what really matters is what they're doing with it. In November 2025, XAI released Grok 4.1, and the numbers are striking. According to their benchmarks, Grok 4.1 ranks number one overall on LM Arena, sitting 31 ELO points above the next best model. They achieved this through advanced reinforcement learning that enhances creativity, coherence, and even something they call emotional intelligence. But wait, there's more to this story. Musk has said Grok 5 is coming in early 2026 and he's given it about a 10% chance of hitting AGI-level performance. Now, 10% might not sound like much, but think about what that means. The CEO of the company building this technology thinks there's a realistic shot that their next model could be AGI. That's not hype. That's cautious optimism from someone with insider knowledge. And XAI has a unique advantage that other labs don't. Musk's entire ecosystem Grok's chat and voice AIs are already integrated into Tesla vehicles. Every conversation, every interaction is feeding data back into the system, helping refine the models in real-world conditions. This creates a feedback loop that accelerates development in ways that pure lab-based research can't match. The bottom line? XAI has assembled unprecedented computing resources, released a leading model, and has a CEO who just shifted his public AGI prediction from 2025 to 2026. That shift is telling. It suggests they're close enough to see the finish line, but honest enough to admit it's not quite there yet. OpenAI, the systematic path to superintelligence. While XAI is making aggressive moves, OpenAI is taking a different approach. They're not racing recklessly, they're scaling systematically and their progress over the past two years has been remarkable. In August 2025, OpenAI launched GPT-5. They described it as their smartest, fastest, most useful model with far deeper reasoning, knowledge, and code writing skills than anything before. But they didn't stop there. Later in 2025, they rolled out GPT-5.2, which they call the most advanced frontier model for professional work. These models aren't incremental improvements. 
They're qualitative leaps that outperform previous systems on everything from math contests to complex writing tasks. Now here's what most people don't realize about OpenAI's strategy. They're not just focusing on digital intelligence. They're re-entering robotics in a big way, hiring humanoid robot experts to build AIs that can learn by acting in the real world. This tells us something crucial. OpenAI sees embodied AI as a key step toward AGI. They believe that to truly understand intelligence, you need systems that can interact with the physical world, not just process text and images. Sam Altman's public comments reveal just how confident they are. In early 2025, he declared that OpenAI knows how to build AGI as we have traditionally understood it. Think about that statement. The CEO of the leading AI lab is saying they've figured out the path. The next phase, according to Altman, is genuine superintelligence that will turbocharge discovery and innovation. But here's where Altman's perspective gets really interesting. In his General Singularity blog post, he outlines 2025 through 2027 as a period of rapidly compounding AI capabilities. He predicts that by 2026, we'll see AI systems coming up with truly novel insights, not just recombining existing knowledge, but making genuine discoveries. He even notes that the 2030s are likely to be wildly different from any time before. Now, Altman is careful. He acknowledges uncertainty and calls for caution. He hasn't given a firm 2026 deadline, but the trajectory is clear. OpenAI has Microsoft's multi-billion dollar investment, access to Azure supercomputers, and dozens of top researchers working on each generation. Their strategy is methodical scaling of models and compute, paired with careful attention to reliability and alignment. The practical reality? OpenAI is already deploying models that perform at near-human levels on professional knowledge work. The gap to AGI isn't about fundamental breakthroughs anymore. It's about refinement, scale, and integration. And they're attacking all three simultaneously. Google DeepMind, the long-term perspective. Now let's talk about Google DeepMind, because their approach offers an interesting contrast. While Musk is betting everything on 2026, and Altman is predicting transformative systems by then, Google's leadership is more measured. But don't mistake measured for pessimistic. Demis Hassabis, CEO of DeepMind, recently stated that AGI is still five to 10 years away and would require one or two major additional breakthroughs. Sundar Pichai, Google's CEO, describes current AI as being in its jagged phase capable of incredible things in some areas, while struggling with seemingly simple tasks in others. That's their way of saying we're not quite there yet. But here's what makes Google's position fascinating. They're not rushing because they don't need to rush. DeepMind has been researching AI longer than almost anyone, dating back to 2010. They've made foundational breakthroughs like AlphaGo, AlphaFold for protein folding, and now Gemini, their latest large language model. These aren't just impressive demos, they're contributions to the scientific understanding of intelligence itself. Google's strategy is to build the infrastructure and foundational research that makes AGI possible, even if they're not chasing the earliest possible release date. They're focused on solving the hard problems, multi-step reasoning, long-term planning, real-world understanding. And they have resources that rival anyone. Google's computing infrastructure is unmatched. They have access to massive amounts of training data from their products, and they can attract top talent. The five to 10 year timeline Hasabi's mentions might sound conservative compared to Musk's 2026 prediction. But notice what he's actually saying, one or two major breakthroughs away. In AI research, major breakthroughs can happen suddenly. We've seen it with Transformers in 2017 with GPT-3's scaling laws in 2020, with reinforcement learning from human feedback that made ChatGPT possible. If history is any guide, one or two breakthroughs could compress several years of expected progress into a much shorter time frame. And there's another factor to consider. Google has skin in the game through its massive investments in AI infrastructure 
and its need to compete with OpenAI and XAI. They're not going to sit on the sidelines if AGI becomes achievable. The moment they see a clear path, you can bet they'll accelerate. Why 2026 keeps coming up. So we have three different companies, three different approaches, and yet they're all circling around the same approximate time frame. Musk says 2026. Altman predicts novel insights by 2026. Even Hasabis's five to 10 years, which would stretch to 2029 or 2034, acknowledges that one or two breakthroughs could dramatically accelerate that timeline. This convergence isn't coincidental. It's based on concrete technical progress that all these labs are observing. The models released in 2025, GPT 5.2, Grok 4.1, and Gemini, represent a step function improvement over what we had in 2023. They're not just better at existing tasks. They're capable of new types of reasoning and problem solving that previous models couldn't handle. The computing resources being deployed are also unprecedented. XAI's million GPU plan, OpenAI's access to Azure supercomputers, Google's vast infrastructure. We're talking about investments in the tens of billions of dollars, all converging on the same technical problems. When multiple independent teams with massive resources are attacking the same problem from different angles, breakthroughs tend to happen faster than anyone expects. There's also a feedback loop effect happening. As these models get better, they become useful for accelerating AI research itself. They can help write code, analyze results, generate hypotheses, and explore solution spaces. This means the tools for building AGI are themselves getting smarter, which speeds up the development cycle. And let's not forget the competitive dynamics. These companies aren't operating in isolation. They're watching each other closely. When OpenAI releases a breakthrough model, XAI and Google respond. When Musk announces a massive compute expansion, the others take notice. This competition creates pressure to move faster, to push harder, to take bigger bets. The realistic assessment. Here's what we can say with reasonable confidence. Will we have full human level AGI that can learn any task a human can on January 1st, 2026? Probably not. The technical challenges are still substantial and even the most optimistic leaders acknowledge uncertainty. But will 2026 be a watershed year in the development of AGI? The evidence strongly suggests yes. We're likely to see models that can perform most professional knowledge work at or above human level. We'll probably see systems that can conduct genuine research and make novel contributions to science. We might even see early versions of AI agents that can autonomously complete complex, multi-step tasks in the real world. The infrastructure being built right now, the massive compute clusters, the refined training techniques, the vast data sets, creates a foundation that didn't exist even two years ago. And the talent concentrated in these labs represents an unprecedented collection of expertise, all focused on the same goal. Think about what Altman wrote in his Gentle Singularity piece. We do not know how far beyond human-level intelligence we can go, but we are about to find out. That's not a marketing slogan. That's a statement from someone who's seen the capabilities of the latest models and understands the trajectory they're on. The combination of massive investments, technical breakthroughs already achieved, and the convergence of multiple independent timelines all pointing to the mid-2020s creates a compelling case for optimism. Whether the exact year is 2026 or 2027 or 2028 might not matter as much as the broader reality. We're entering a period where AI capabilities will transform from impressive to transformative. What this means for you, so why does this matter to you? Because if these predictions are even close to accurate, the world is about to change in fundamental ways. We're not talking about better chatbots or more efficient code completion. We're talking about AI systems that can contribute to scientific research, solve complex technical problems, and potentially accelerate innovation across every field. Some industries will be disrupted. Some jobs will transform. But history suggests that these transitions, while challenging, also create enormous opportunities. 
The question isn't whether AGI will arrive. At this point, it's more about when and how. And being informed about the timeline, the key players, and the actual technical progress puts you ahead of the curve. The race to AGI isn't just a competition between tech companies. It's a transformation of human capability itself. And based on everything we've examined, the models, the compute resources, the expert predictions, and the observable progress, 2026 is shaping up to be the year when that transformation shifts from theoretical to undeniable. Final thoughts. We've looked at three giants of AI. XAI with its massive compute bet and 10% chance on Grok 5. OpenAI with its systematic scaling and confident timeline for novel insights. And Google DeepMind with its measured approach but acknowledgement that one or two breakthroughs could change everything. The takeaway isn't that AGI will definitely arrive by 2026. The takeaway is that multiple independent sources, each with deep insider knowledge and massive resources, are all pointing to the mid-2020s as the critical period. That convergence matters more than any single prediction. As Altman noted, we're entering uncharted territory. The 2030s will likely be wildly different from anything before. And we're about to find out just how far beyond human-level intelligence we can go. Whether that's exciting or unsettling probably depends on your perspective. But either way, it's happening. If you found this analysis valuable, let me know in the comments what aspect of the AGI race you're most curious about. Are you more interested in the technical breakthroughs, the competitive dynamics between companies, or the potential implications for society? I'm tracking all of this closely and would love to know what you want to see next. And if you want to stay ahead of these developments as they unfold, make sure you're subscribed. Because if 2026 really is the watershed year these leaders predict, you're going to want to understand what's coming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.